Welcome back. This is Professor Hall. So today we are going to look at our 096 class. And what we are going to do is talk about how to use inquisitive. So inquisitive you can find over here on the left hand side in the menu. Hopefully you remember that from our course walkthrough. And when you click that, my internet's very slow. So we, now we wait. Okay. Um, the first thing you'll see is up here, it says sign in or register. There are also purchase options. So if you click on purchase options, it tells you um, that you can just get the ebook. I recommend that you have the actual handbook from the bookstore. It includes the ebook plus this inquisitive access um, and also the actual physical copy. So you get all three of those if you get them at the bookstore. But if you haven't or you weren't able to get them from the bookstore, you can always just get the ebook version, which does come with the software. And you can click there to purchase and register for your access. If you already have the book, um, you can click right here. And just to explain what this is a little bit, the Little Seagull Handbook is, as I mentioned before in one of my introduction videos, it is a handbook. So it's not like a book that you read from front to back, and it's not even really like a textbook where you read things, um, you know, chapter by chapter throughout the course. It's meant to help you out in certain situations and to learn about certain topics. So if you need a reference for how to cite your sources, that's in the handbook. If you're not sure um, what transition you might wanna use, those transitions are in the handbook. Um, if you need help with a grammar error, those all the common grammar errors are in the handbook with explanations for each one. So Inquisitive is the software that kind of goes along with it. And you can see all the modules in Inquisitive are listed here. Um, we're not going to be doing all of them. There are some we're going to be doing from just about every section. Um, and you, I'll show you where you can find those um, due dates in a moment. But the software is adaptive. What that means is that if you go in and you're really struggling with something, like let's pick something down here, um, sentence fragments, if that's something that you really have a problem with, you might need to do a lot of questions about that. Maybe you have to do 20 or 30 before you can get a decent grade on it, but that's okay. It's just for practice. And getting things wrong is not the worst thing in the world. It's a way to learn. If, on the other hand, you have studied sentence fragments before and you watched the videos that I put up and you understand them really well, um, maybe you only need to do 10 questions to get the grade that you need and then you don't have to bother with doing it for a longer period of time. So it's really adapted to every person's needs. So the way that you sign in is you click in here, sign up or register. I already have a username and password. So after the first time, this is what you'll do. You can save your password like I did because who's gonna wanna break into my inquisitive? Probably no one. Um, but the first time you're gonna click, no, I need to register. And then you'll click register. And then there are a couple different options. So the first is you're gonna put in your name, make sure that you type in your school email address correctly. Um, if you don't, you're gonna run into problems later on because if you forget your password, I can't send it to you. That's the company that sends it to you or has you re-sign up for a new password. Um, so you're gonna enter a password. Um, it has to be, thing is coming up here sorry it has to be a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters and numbers no special characters but numbers then you're going to enter it again and then if you have the book the book comes with a registration code and you're going to type that in right there if you did not get the book or you got a book without registration code, you have to click here to purchase access, as I just showed you a moment ago. So again, it'll take you to show purchase option. Yeah, it's trying to get me to sign up. It'll take you back to that purchase options that I just showed you. You also do have the option of signing up for a trial access for 21 days. 
but as our course is longer than 21 days and as there are things to read in the book, I would like you to get the code and get the book in some form. If you buy the code at the bookstore, um, the book at the bookstore, you get the book, the ebook, and access to Inquisitive. If you just get the purchase access here, you can get the um, ebook version as well as the access to Inquisitive. You, you just don't have the physical copy of the book to be able to kind of look things up as you need them. Um, but it's up to you whichever one you want to do as long as you get in here with your correct email address. Okay, so once you're in, Let's let's try again. Um, once you put in, and I can't do it because I'm the instructor, so it would look a little bit different for me. Once you put in your name and your book code, then it's going to take you to another page kind of like this, asking for the student set. So I will have the number on Blackboard for you um, of your student set, and you're gonna enter that number in and sometimes you have to choose also, you have to put the school, um, if you start typing SCH, Schenectady County Community College pops up, and you have to put the state that you're in as well. So there's a couple things that you need to do. The reason it's asking for a student set, I'll show you when I sign in, is because I have a number of classes. So you can kind of see one, two, three, four, five different courses here, everybody is um, in one of those courses. If all of my students were in the same set, it would be really hard for me to figure out where the grades are um, and all of that. So I'm gonna pick this student set and I've only set three of these so far, but more of them will be coming later on today. And by the time you're watching this, it'll all be set up. So no worries. Um, if you have problems logging in or registering, I'm also going to link in Blackboard for you this page. This is student help notes. So getting started, how to um, get it on your computer, tablet, smartphone. You can do this on your phone. It's, it, it's a tiny bit harder because sometimes things are smaller to read, but you can. Um, how grading works in case you're interested in that. How to join a student set and um, how to use Inquisitive. So all of those are there for you, and if you have a problem, you can contact them, or you can let me know if you're, maybe your code doesn't work, um, or for some reason you're not able to sign in. You can just email me and let me know. So once you're in, the first activity I'm going to ask you to do is this, how to use Inquisitive, and I'm gonna click on here just so you can kinda see what Inquisitive looks like. And again, we wait. Oh, good, it came up pretty quickly. Okay, so um, it looks a little bit different for me as an instructor. They're telling me I can try this activity or I can view my class activity report. So here would be where I would go to look at your grades. Um, I'm going to try the activity and this is what it'll look like for you. The first time it gives you, I love this little guy popping up here. Um, the first time it comes up, it says you have to answer at least 10 questions to get a score. You can gain or lose up to 100 points depending on your confidence level. We're going to look at that in a minute. So it's set up, it's kind of gamified where it's set up a little bit like a game uh, where you can try to get more points. Um, your target score is 800 points. And reaching your target score, no matter how many questions you take, it takes will earn you a hundred percent so you don't have to get a hundred percent but i recommend trying for at least an eighty percent um which would be like a b basically so let's here um i'm not going to play this whole thing but i'm just going to show you what it looks like there is a short video about how to use Inquisitive. So if this is confusing, <laughs> you can watch that as well. They are gonna talk about a few other things I don't hear, so it's not that long. It's three minutes long, so you can watch that. And then you can start answering questions. This is the only one with a video, because they're just you know teaching you how to do it. So up here is my 
username. Then here is the question in confidence. So do I want tons of points? Yes, I do, because I want to get that target score and I think that I know things. Um, and I'm going to pick the wrong answer here to show you what that looks like. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, so I just lost 50 points. So let me try again. There we go. Um, question confidence slider. I have to have a minimum and I'm going for a target score. Okay, now you can see here it has a red dot because I got this one incorrect. And there's feedback that pops up. So I'm gonna close that and do my next question. This one um, is a type that I haven't seen that often um, where you type. Mostly you're gonna be dragging and dropping kind of the way that I just did, but here, Find the confidence slider, that's this. Try sliding the ball to adjust your confidence level. Type out the name of the lowest level. So here it's, I have no idea. So I'm gonna start typing. I can type on here or on my keyboard. There we go. And I earned 20 points. Okay, so that's basically how it's set up. I'm gonna take you into one of the modules that we're actually going to do. Um, Where's the fragment one? Okay, so here we are in fragments. Again, there's the quick start video in case you're not sure how to do it. And then I'm just gonna start answering questions. They will not ask you this. This is just for me. Um, they're asking me, do I want featured questions or showing normal student activity? Okay, so I'm gonna keep my confidence slider here kind of not sure how do I fix this fragment they're highlighting this portion here to show in some way these sentences may not be connected correctly one of them is an incomplete sentence perhaps or there's no errors so let's say that I am not sure and I'm gonna click no errors oh no that's not right so I can still earn 10 points if you get it wrong you're not able to slide this back by the way I can still earn 10 points and there's a couple neat things here. First, if I hover over this blue sentence fragment, I get the definition. So that's kind of helpful in case you forgot. Second, I can also click this to look at the pages of the handbook. So the ebook version of the handbook comes up and here's the whole sentence, here's the whole section on sentence fragments, all of it. And this one's bringing me directly to, click on it again, just the part that I need to work on. This is a subordinating word. You don't need to know that right now, but um, that's what the problem is here. So I'm gonna click try again, and I can leave this open or I can close it up. And it's this, okay. There we go, I got 10 points, but it still shows me a red mark because I got it wrong. So I'm gonna skip ahead and do a couple of these questions, some wrong, some right, just to show you guys what this will look like. Okay, so I've done nine questions, now I'm on the 10th. You notice I missed two here, I missed two there. I promise you that was on purpose, <laughs> I promise. Um, rises, period, the cost is an average. Okay, so here, there we go. Now, um, I have, because of how I moved that confidence slider and because of the number of questions I did, I have a 49%. Um, I feel like that's not that great of a grade, but if you were really pressed for time, I suppose you could just say, hey, I'll take it. I have to move on to the next thing. Um, next question. Oops. I put, I put submit grade by mistake, sorry. <laughs> my total has been recorded okay let me go back okay so my total was recorded and I can see that anytime by clicking this activity score shows me my full graph and it tells me the type of question it shows me the question again um, it also down here 
shows me my performance for each type of question. So here, this is um, fragments that missed a subject or missed a verb. I did pretty well on those. Missing part of a verb, mm, not as good. So you can also click to take a break, play a little game for a minute. It doesn't take that long. And then you can go back to the questions or you can view the report again. Okay, now we have another type of question here. It, this is a drag and drop. So this is asking me to drag correct answers up and incorrect answers down. Okay. I know I'm going through this kind of quickly, but I just want to show you guys how it looks. Okay, so just with that one question, I've already improved to 56%. And again, you know, here's the thing. I've had people do this activity and the first time they do it, they get a 12%. But the way you need to think of it is, hey, I already know 12%. And each time I get a question right, that number will go up. Um, and it's just great practice. Okay. All right, so um, what I did was enough questions to get that 100% grade. And then I could click on that. And it shows my great progress, two here, two here, one here, but then all the way up. And if I wanted to review, I could. Or if I don't want to review, I can just leave it as it is. And now my instructor just has that highest grade. Now, if I feel like I still need practice, let's get one wrong here. Okay, um, I'm going to try again. Okay, you'll notice I got that one wrong. My grade is still going to be my highest grade. So same thing happened. I tested it there with the 56. I got that, I got a couple, I got a couple right and then I got one wrong, but my grade didn't go down. So that's kind of important to know. Um, that is pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. I think that the most important thing is to know that the student help is here for you. Um, and they can also help you get started. I believe that there's a place up here where you can search as well if you're not really sure. Um, and as I said, all of the dates will be here and it should um, also show up for you on your calendar. So that's it, you guys. And if you have any questions, just let me know.